Well, howdy, everybody. It's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. So, I, a thousand years, look, I found a leather chair for just a couple of hundred bucks. It was marked down somewhere on Prime Deals. So, you know, I'm an Amazon fan. I'll, I'll say it. I'm not a fan boy. Uh, you know, I don't follow Bezos at all. Like, <laughs> 0% Twitter, 0 but uh, the construct of paying a premium and having two-day shipping and uh, way off here out grid, it seems to be a benefit. But every now and then, my shipping comes in like this. I did not open this box. Rotate. This came this way, and unfortunately, you see it's, it's upside down now. That was the bottom. So how much of that stuff dropped out onto the ground? I don't know. Let's put this chair together. See if everything's in it. I'm hoping that it's not huge. Uh, inside my Connex, I, inside my Connex, I'm sitting on a little teeny tiny wooden kitchen chair. The problem is it doesn't slide. And uh, when I have company over and I need to slide, I can't slide. So I'm hoping this thing isn't ginormous. And I'm hoping that it will work. So, uh, so back to, you know, the super rich, uh, Jeff Bezos and crew. The one thing I would say is I, I would like uh, corporations to allow their employees to invest in the success. Uh, I don't want to hear about factory workers, Bezos or otherwise, peeing in bottles or working until their joints literally explode. Uh, child labor for Apple phones, you know, Nike, sweatshops, blah, 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 blah. It's all about squeezing as much joy out of the world in order to make a dollar as possible. It doesn't have to be that way. Uh, <clears throat> there's plenty of money. Uh, and we can pay staff where we can. So there's a group of, uh, of um, uh, Illuminati, rich folks, Elon Musk and the like. They're part of a, what's called an acceleration. And they believe that uh, uh, disaster is inevitable. So why not feed the flames? And that explains why they uh, uh, vote for uh, guys like... Um, Trump <laughs> or allow Putin to run roughshod over the, you know, their next door neighbor. Uh, they believe that accelerating the end of time serves a benefit. Well, humanity will wake up on the other side in a better shape. Well, by 2050, 2070, the world will have stabilized its population. And uh, so uh, the whole paradigm of always having more and more and more and more and more in order for everybody to have more and more and more is impossible. We'll have to substitute uh, quantity for quality. And we can't do that if people don't have a penny into their name in order to upgrade themselves. So uh, I'm disappointed in the uh, Illuminati, the super rich, the accelerators um, of the world. Nihilist is what they really are. They just found a new name for themselves. And, and it's not just uh, Elon Musk. There's a whole crew of people that believe, uh, well, you know, you, the, the, you know, parks and recreation, the guys that works for the government hates the government, right? Uh, uh, in fact, we've got a huge conservative movement where those in the government hate the government. Uh, well, get out. If you don't have a vision for making it better, get out, you know, go do something else. Uh, we don't need uh, everybody destroying everything. Of course, you won't have nice things if you break, if you break nice things. So uh, I say all that to say this. I don't know if Jeff Bezos is part of the acceleration crew. Uh, but listen, if instead of thinking that disaster is inevitable, if we paid kids a nice living fair wage, not minimum wage, fair wage, living wage. Let them participate in the success of super corporations that are earning billions and trillions. There's plenty of money. Uh, well, then you would find that the net uh, joy of humanity goes up. And instead of uh, facing certain gloom and doom, we would be facing a brighter future. So for those of you uh, Illuminati, if you ever wander across this little off-grid farmer uh, channel, uh, share your profits. Share your prop bonuses. Just give holiday bonuses. Take your minimum wage, that's your crappy wage that you're at right now. Put a kicker on it based on productivity and, you know, days, attendance, uh, being healthy, uh, you know, and give people bonuses and watch your productivity double, double. The problem with work from home is it worked. People, uh, contentment went up, productivity went up, and then uh, the powers that be saw that and went, oh my gosh, we can't have happy people. <laughs> we, can't, we can't have happy people. <laughs> well, sure we can. Why can't we have happy people? 
I, I, we certainly can. And eventually we have to get there where we're at the point of, of uh, creating joy for uh, human beings instead of uh, thinking that uh, we'll make money off the next uh, pile of people. Right now our society works because uh, immigrants, we steal uh, brain drain from one country to feed another country and uh, countries stay wealthy that way, but it doesn't have to be that way. All, what I'm saying is that people can, uh, there's another way instead of being a nihilist uh, where you actually reward people and create a path of joy and contentment. And contented people are good people who do good things in their society. Now look, I, that makes me happy. Even though the bottom of that box had fallen out, there's, uh, you know, I still got all the fasteners. That's what I was worried about, that the little fastener thing had fallen out now. Uh, I don't remember if this had an arm or not on it, but... Uh, you know, foot, that's a foot rest. Looks like all the components are in here. Man, this thing's heavy duty. That, that That's plate steel right there. A little more than eighth inch. That's almost quarter, <laughs> quarter inch eight plate steel. That's, that's to keep hefty boys like me sitting upright. All right, well, there's the base. I haven't run across the wheels yet. Man, I can't believe Every now and then I get those things. People say shop local, and I want to shop local. And, in fact, I do. Actually, I'm a big time... Uh, I do shop local, but uh, I don't have an office part store anywhere near me, like nowhere near me. No, they're no local. And the, the one that I would have, the nearest thing, Staples, is a corporation anyway. So that's what this thing will look like when I'm all done. Anyway, I did get this on Amazon. It's normally a four or five hundred dollar chair. I don't. I won't ever pay four or five hundred for a chair. <laughs> I'm not a, that interested in city, uh, but uh, in this particular case, it was a good deal because it's like two, uh, fifty percent off, and so I, I looked it up, and indeed, it wasn't just bait and switch where they they say it's fifty percent off, but their normal rate is uh, you know double what it should be. Nah, it's, it was an actual genuine uh, savings. All right, let's put this thing together. You know, the other bad thing about uh, folks that try to tear things down instead of build things up is weirdly they don't think that that's going to come visit them like the super rich believe their yachts will protect them and whatnot but look what happened to the russians you know all of their yachts now have been seized and are sitting there idle in other people's ports they'll never get them back uh you know constantly taking constantly being filled with greed and then to say, well, we'll elect political candidates that are also uh, either an inept and or just plain evil uh, in order to accelerate this destruction. Very odd behavior. No other species that I know of uh, self-destroys. But um, this one's like, oh, my, uh, my ideals say that we have to have an end times. Therefore, we're going to make an end time. Man. Don't fulfill prophecies much. Anyway, it doesn't have to be that way. If uh, you know, society can can be a net good. There doesn't have to be an end end time war. <laughs> there doesn't have to be. We could survive a planet warming or a sea level rise. Or, we've done it before, right? In our past, you know what we've done is we've respected the Earth and retreated. Uh, to more inhabitable environments. Maybe that's what people are all upset about when we, we're forced to retreat. People are going to be filled with violence as they retreat. I don't know. Anyway, then, pretty deep subject while I put together this corporately made chair. Maybe I should read the instructions, but I think I could put it together by hand. Just eyeballing it. This was loose. This one thing was loose in the box. So I don't know. What is this chair? It just says office chair on it. <laughs> That's pretty generic. <laughs> That's, That's when you know a company doesn't care uh, about who they are, right? <laughs> it's just an office chair. All right. Well, I don't have to promote it then. Oh, I found two of these. So... Loose in the box. Now this said it was leather. 
But I'm here to tell you, I do not think so. I think this is vinyl. Leather-like material. It feels like vinyl. Doesn't really have an odor. Then uh, part of a thousand year homes would would have been a you know a leather chair. Leather lasts a very 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 long time. Well, that's good. I love it when they uh, send all the parts like that in a little pack or bubble pack where you can just get them. The rating on this chair said it was 300 pounder. So that's uh, less than I am. I hope it makes a little room in that Connex. And isn't just enormous. Last thing I need to do is store a big chair that doesn't fit and waiting for my main office. That's an interesting design. It has uh, both a bolt on it as well as a hex head in the middle of it. Oh, I'm digging that. Hmm, this blister pack has three in it. That chair back, in my opinion, this goes here. This is why a building project, why you're living in something, is so difficult. Because, you you know, I'm both living in it, so I'm doing stuff that's non-move forward, right? You know, really, there's something to be said about a house being built while you're not living in it. But I run my office, and I run a lot of different things. already so I end up having to do a lot of things that are uh, not forward motion for a build project this month I hope to get the logging done for the reciprocal ceiling as well as get the foundation stuff in All right, so I, I bought this inexpensive leather chair <laughs> online. Uh, went together pretty well. Feels well built. A uh, couple of things I'll say. I'm really doubtful that I'm looking at real leather. Let me rotate. I mean, maybe? Now, I didn't put the arms on it because in my shipping container, I want to uh, be able to slide it under a desk. So if I put the arms on it. But it has this neat feature. You slide this thing out, and then you can flip it up. And I've got a place to rest my legs. I don't know how useful that will be. Most of the reviewers I've seen, they use it to sit cross-legged, and I, I don't cross-legged sit. Uh, but, yeah, it does feel like, you know, a heavy-duty base. Uh, I feel like I've got $200 out of it. Um, 
But boy, I'm really questioning. Now, other uh, when I looked at other colors of this chair, it some said uh, leather-like material, and some of them said leather. I assume things, some of the ones that said leather were leather. But, mm, I don't know. Oh, I also found the brand name for it. Ephomau, which, you know, won't be there next year. But uh, there it was. Deluxe office under the Amazon Transparency Productive. So I guess if I pay them extra money, they'll give me a warranty or something on it. But um, anyway, if you buy the generic uh, office chair on Amazon during a Prime Day, 200 bucks. I think I got 200 bucks. I want to find a better chair than this for $200. But uh, it allowed me to deep thought while I put it together. So I was deep thoughting today. <laughs> uh, and then the uh, the blister packs of parts, I like that. Now, I didn't read the instructions, nor do I see any. Oh, it also came with this little pillow, which, uh, you know, I, I, I won't use. But uh, there it is, if I wanted it. Um, but these little blister packs were pretty good. Everything went in pretty much the way it was supposed to go. So, uh, without sitting in it, without having it for a few years, I'm going to give it a um, four and a half out of five stars. Um, the... Only reason why I'm distracting a star is I'm really questioning the leather leather material. I think it was a deliberately sloppy uh, writing of the description, but it could be leather. Uh, maybe uh, I just it just doesn't have that depth that leather has. So in conclusion, uh, nihilism is a terrible philosophy, whether or not you call it accelerationism or not. Uh, to have such a uh, a low opinion of humanity uh, without a peop uh, vision the people perish the problem isn't humanity the problem is people in leadership uh who just want to undo everything and I, I don't it's an odd behavior <laughs> and no no other animal does it i mean it's just humans you know and uh, the, uh unfortunately this uh group of individuals have built together a a, a you know they got a lot of money <laughs> So they promote a lot of ideas. And the rest of us who just want to love our families and live a decent life uh, are caught in this train with a funny locomotive. Uh, you know, you look at uh, all around the world, you know, it's very divisive politics and both sides offering uh, folks of limited uh, mental acumen um, or and or just horribly corrupt. So uh, all of that deep thought stuff from a chair. <laughs> Welcome to my world. That's the way my mind works. But uh, let's be more positive. Let's believe in young people. And, uh, you know, I refuse to learn boomer, millennial, X, Z. I'm not going to be divided. I'm not going to learn how to how to be divided and not like a generation. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. We're all in this together. And we all have our strengths, all have our weaknesses. And, uh, a little kindness goes a long way. But let's be positive. Let's believe in gardens and homes and uh, rebuilding and, and uh, happy people. And, and once the world's population stabilizes, let's believe in rebuilding forests and re, uh, redoing the ocean and figuring out how to handle plastics and you know, we could do it. It's it's just a matter of will and, and not being so sarcastic. Uh, George Carlin, uh, uh, Carlin of politics, right? Where we're just so sarcastic. Let's be a little more positive. All right. Like, subscribe, follow me along. Normally, I don't get so deep thought. So uh, my apologies for that. But uh, I was thinking about that. And uh, why not be so positive? Why not be more positive about people? I like young people. I think they've got cool ideas. I love their van life. I love their TikToks. I, I, you know, I, there's a lot of positive things to focus on. And, uh, you know, let's focus on those and not uh, hurry the world along to disaster. <laughs> the world might do that anyway. We probably doesn't need any help at all. One, uh, one super volcano boom and we're all in big trouble. One meteorite, we're all in big trouble. So let's try to live in peace uh, between ourselves as best as possible. There's no reason to take anything from anybody. Uh, there's plenty to go around all by ourselves. We don't, we don't have to steal. <laughs> and uh, here it is in my office area. I've got all the blinds drawn because it is wicked hot out there and I, uh, the shipping container stays a lot cooler. There. Slides in since I didn't put the arms on, so I will never put the arms on. Uh, looks nice. And then it being leather slash vinyl uh 
and I'm out here. Like you saw, oh, I am hot. I am hot. So I'm figuring this thing will wipe off and stay stay clean and just be a little easier. And the oak chair chair was really hard to sit on for a long period of time. This is already feeling comfy. So again, four and a half stars. If I knew for sure I was sitting on leather, I'd go ahead and give it a five star out of. But I don't know if I'm sitting on leather and I don't want to promote a, uh, a falsehood if it's not really true.